Hey guys. So welcome to another vlog. So we got woken up to Becky missing a call from the car place. They called about an hour before Becky finally realized it. For some reason, her phone didn't ring. So today is Tuesday. If you guys have been following along on this little car saga, then you should know that today is the day when we're actually should be getting our car. We should already know what's wrong with it. It should already be fixed. The only reason why I go by those standards, standards is because that's what the car place told us. So we call Monday. They said, oh, we wrote down what's wrong with it on some paper, but we can't find it. So we'll call you back later, even though they were supposed to call us, even though they didn't. Both, the, both of the times they said that they were supposed to call us, they didn't. So then today they were supposed to call us and the car should have been ready and they should have been working on it. They told us when we dropped off the car, we don't need your keys. So at first we thought that was really weird, but we just kind of accepted it. Now today they called us, we need your keys. We can't do anything until we have your keys. And I'm just like, that's what I thought of at the beginning. Like, of course they need our keys, but they kept saying they didn't need them and now they need them. So we're not getting our car back today. We have no idea what's wrong with it. I don't understand what's going on, but we have to get a ride and we have to go give them the keys. And that's pretty much the update on the car. So that kind of sucks. I'm about to go make me some breakfast. I'm just gonna have some eggs, bacon, and mandarins, like what I've been doing. Um, I get a lot of comments down below. People are saying like have oatmeal and like fruit and stuff. Personally, I don't really like oatmeal at all. I think it might be a texture thing. It makes me gag. If I ever do eat oatmeal, it's pretty much like I'm forcing myself. And I don't stay as full when I have fruit and oatmeal because I don't know if it's because it's like sugary. I know there's like um, sugar-free oatmeal, like you can do oats and stuff, but I just don't like it at all. I feel very content having my eggs, bacon, and mandarins. So um, different strokes for different folks, you guys. Ta-da. This literally takes me less than five minutes. Just how I like it, a quick breakfast. I usually eat these first and then I dive into this goodness. Are you recording me right now? Huh, well, what do you know about that? So, hello everyone, I feel much better now. Um, I guess the antibiotics have been working, which I'm very happy about that. I've not gotten much sleep, which sucks, but Hopefully once I stop feeling this way in my chest with coughing, I literally feel like I've been kicked in the ribs because I've coughed so much. Yeah, Whatever. <laughs> it's never hurt like this before. I've never coughed like this before. <coughs> Whatever, Eric. Whatever. What are you doing? I'm about to take my meds. I'm going to take them like, what? Two hours earlier than I usually do. Just to get it over with. I need to take mine too, but I need to take mine with food and I didn't eat anything. You didn't have breakfast? No. What are you gonna have? I don't know. I've not really had much of an appetite. Well, right now I have a hoss in my mouth, which is kind of a big deal because I hate cough drops. If I've got a cough drop in my mouth, you know it's serious. Do you want a bar? A what? Like a like a bar? So you can take your medicine? A, um, like a protein bar? Oh. <laughs> what well, just happened? I'm like. Do you want me to get you one? I guess. They're releasing uh, the collection of Mega Man 1 and 2, uh, the Legacy collection uh, for the Switch. Well, okay. All the older uh, Mega Man games. I will tell you one thing, the only Mega Man that matters is Mega Man 4 for the Nintendo. That is the only Mega Man that matters. It's a of the older one. Well, the older one can suck it. No, I'm kidding. What is this? You haven't tried that one yet. Peanut butter cream. We'll see. We'll see. Are you not hungry? No. Kind of. No. I keep going in between of 
yes, I am hungry, and no, I'm not hungry. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe that's just this sinus. I don't know. I've never heard of people having issues with um, appetite when it came to a sinus infection. I don't know. This is probably really boring. I just figured I'd pop in and say hi because I've been kind of out of the light for a while. And that's mainly me because I've been really busy. I've been in, uh, sick. Wait, you know how you have, Eric, you know how you have that plate in the microwave? Did you eat the, um, green beans from it? Are you insinuating that there is a green bean thief in the house? Yeah, because I just put your microwave, your microwave back in the plate. I just put your plate back in the microwave. No. I don't know where they went. Ricky might have ate them. No, it no, literally just like happened. <laughs> Wait. I'm so confused. You don't think Rary jumped up on the counter, do you? She don't eat green beans. Mm. Y'all, everything's going missing lately. Even my mind. Where is my mind? Are you, are you? I'm vlogging. You are vlogging, I'm proud of you. Yeah. It's a long clip, huh? Tell them something they don't know. Tell them something they don't know? Yeah. Oh, I have a good one. Did you guys know that Uranus, the um, planet, was a fit, originally named George? I can't remember the name of the guy that wanted to name it George, but he originally wanted to name it George. So they wanted to name Uranus George. That's the story. That's my dad's name. But then someone was like, you know what? No, George is a stupid name for a planet. How about Uranus? That's better. I know. Right? I'm just like... Your anus. Yeah, did they not see Your butt. what they were doing? They had to know what they were doing. I, I don't, I don't, I, I, yeah. Your vagina. <laughs> okay, so we're back home. The car place now has the keys. They said, new update, they're gonna check the car tomorrow. So hopefully they check it tomorrow, fix it tomorrow. We could pick it up tomorrow, but that's only in my dreams. So today I'm just gonna spend the next like hour or two or three doing a little bit of meal prepping. I've noticed that sometimes I just don't feel like cooking. So I wanna have chicken cooked already, vegetables cooked already, maybe some sweet potato. I don't really know what I'm gonna do with it, but right now I'm gonna cut up some bell pepper, carrots, mushrooms, zucchini and onion and I'm going to prep all this cook it so and I'm gonna use this or both of these I don't know it depends on how much I make to prep it I still gotta wash this though so here are the veggies I'm just gonna turn this off let it cool down and then put it in the containers because never put anything in the fridge covered especially while it's hot because It'll create like bacteria and stuff. So I'm gonna turn that off. It smells so good. Yes. Onions make everything just smell so amazing, like and the garlic and stuff. And all this down here is water, because I don't use oil. I wanted to use oil, but I decided not to. I just used water and this. I sprayed a little bit of this Pam olive oil. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to wash these four sweet potatoes, cut them up, and I'm going to roast them in the oven. So another little mini update. I had these cooling on the stove off of heat, obviously, and now I'm going to have them cool in the container, and then I'm going to put it in the fridge and pick this up. We have the sweet potatoes in here. They're supposed to take a while to cook, so next. I'm gonna have to cook chicken, but I'm gonna give myself a little break. I've been up and at them for about, so far it's been about an hour. So, I mean, a little over an hour. So, meal prepping is kind of fun, actually. So, the sweet potatoes are done. It only took an hour. They may not look the greatest, first time I've ever done this, but they taste amazing. So, I'm super excited about that. Here we have our chicken cooking. I just put it on here a few minutes ago, so it's still pretty raw. <laughs> I'm very crazy when it comes to chicken, so I always make sure it goes up to about 185. 
That's why I love this thermometer. Okay, you guys. So I'm finally sitting down to have lunch. Meal prepping took me probably almost three hours, but it was worth it. Now it's complete. This is inspired by Remy's life. If you guys have never seen her before, you guys literally need to watch her. She likes having cooked veggies and little bits of sweet potato in her salads. So I'm currently having a salad. I had leftover edamame in here that uh, I used, it was the other day, so I didn't want it to go bad. So I used that, a serving of it. I have some chicken, my veggies I cooked, and some of the sweet potatoes. Oh my God, I'm so excited. And I did just a drizzle. Obviously there's lettuce, I think I said that. I just did like a very small drizzle of um, some, it's like a Greek feta uh, dressing, so. Okay, so it's time for comment call out. First one is from Chris W. And she said, yes, I love this type of video. Show more of you cooking different things. I like to get some ideas for healthy, low calorie dishes, like the zoodles with chicken meatballs that looked yummy. It was definitely amazing. And I got a lot of positive comments on this video and a lot of thumbs up. So I'm definitely gonna um, do more videos like this because I enjoyed it and I like to give other people ideas because I also like to receive them. Next one is from Sharon Nelson. Where did you get that sweater you were wearing in the beginning of the vlog? I'm pretty sure you mean this sweater and if you do, I actually got it from Target, but it's been a couple years so I don't really know if they have it anymore. Last comment is from Dean Nobody. They said, hi Amber, big fan, love you. I love you too. Thank you so much for this comment. And I just, I think I'm just going to end this vlog. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.